Actually, babe, you don't get phone. What happened, babe? No! What was that meant to you? I don't know. I'm a little festive today. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. I kind of want something to make my taste buds dance. Oh. <laughs> I think I know just the spot. You do. I do. It's called Western Factory and Bakeries. They have a menu that infuses European and Mexican food. Mm -hmm. I'm talking sweet, savory, breakfast, mm. all the way to cakes. Okay. They have a menu that will make your taste buds go for a spin. Yeah, that sounds perfect.
you guys can see, they gave us the full spread. It looks like this is the last supper here, a little breakfast style. Isn't this crazy? And they made it all from scratch. I don't know how we're gonna do this. They didn't leave anything out. Like even tasting every single item is going to be crazy. I'm up for the challenge. You're up for the challenge. Right. Let's get this going, man. CCC family, we're gonna see you at the table. Okay, these are uh, green chilaquiles with uh, sunny side up eggs, chicken flautas, black beans, and uh, side of toast. And I have a flourless chocolate cake, a fur parfait, a slice of the white chocolate raspberry, and I have a cloth sandwich that it comes with ham, cheddar cheese, uh, turkey, lettuce and tomato meal, and mustard. And I have a platter number one that it comes with uh, one empanada, your choice. That one is chicken and a side of size, side of house salad. Caldo Platino. That was a chicken barbecue and soda. Cream Lay. That was a garlic chipotle drink. Pasta. And the Texas meat cream. Slice of the dulce de leche. And a California frittata. Avocado sauce. French toast and a summer salad with grilled chicken. On the soups, I have potato soup, tomato basil, and poblano pepper, chocolate chip, divorce alfajor, raspberry snow, pecan wedding, and a chocolate butter, fish tacos, strawberry and banana crepe, and migas mexicana with jalapenos, tomatoes, and cheddar cheese. Okay, this is the family. We are here at Rustica Cafe and Bakery and they brought the whole spread for us. Everything looks amazing. Ooh, this is this like, is about to be a challenge. I feel like I feel like Matt Stoney right now. We're gonna have to do some cuts to transfer over it because we got a whole table full of food. Yeah. And where do we get started that out? Uh, we might as well just go whatever's in front of well, us. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do that. But first let's get a prayer in the thumbnail. Father God, I want to thank you for this food. They're about to be super body. And Ashley, should you please bless this food in Jesus' name? Pray, Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. All right. Let's see. Let's start off with the crepe. I mean, the one after the crepe, the toast. This is toast. Yeah, you want to cut, cut yeah, it in piece? Just cut it in half. I'm gonna need a corner. Oh, okay. I'm gonna get my sleeves up for this. Yeah, definitely need sleeves up. All right. So this is a uh, what is it called? This right? has locks yeah. and uh, a poached egg and avocado. You guys, it looks really really. It good. does. You want to cheers it? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That egg just kind of bursts. Yeah. Wow. Can you take a little bit? That was really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that egg burst. Let me take one more bite too. Really, really fresh. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't be taking more than one bite because we have so much. Mm -hmm. But you guys, so fresh. The ingredients, the egg, the locks. Can I take another bite? Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can't stop. That is so good. No. That'll be something I get consistently. Mm -hmm. That's not as possible. Yeah. And honestly, I'm going to be 100 with you guys. I won't be able to remember the names of everything that was here. But let's go ahead and give this pasta a try. Ooh. This smells better than I've gotten already. <laughs> That's gonna be Alfredo sauce for everything. Wow, that's so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's like that one. 
Okay, right, so everything here is made in the house. Mm -hmm. Everything is so creamy, everything is so fresh. They make um the sauces and they make everything in the bakery fresh. Mm. You guys, in the moment. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm surprised that menu is so big. It is, it's but so broad. How small of a restaurant this is. Yeah. It's sort of like your little hole in the wall corner cafe kind of feel when you come in. Mm -hmm. But the menu is so big. And the restaurant's actually really nice. Yeah. It doesn't look like hole in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you want to try next? You want to try this? Yeah. Okay. So, I want you to get a piece of this meat for us. Mm -hmm. Next bite. So what is that? Mmm. -hmm. That really good. I think it's like potatoes. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love the presentation there. Really well. Should we get the salad out of the mm -hmm. way? I've been eyeing the salad. <laughs> you know, Elliot is a salad fan. <laughs> Y'all already know how I do. Right. How fresh does this look, you guys? <laughs> I have some fruit, some raspberries, and some chicken. Wow. Huh? That is so good. You like that? I love that. So they actually pride themselves on their ingredients. Mm -hmm. Like they really say that they take their time to have the freshest ingredients and it really translates into food. Yeah. There's like walnuts in here, you guys. And Ali's a salad lover. Ellie is a salad lover. Mm -hmm. So she really likes it. <laughs> Let's say something. You wanna try this cappuccino? Yeah. I think we're gonna spoon honey. Oh, we do? We, have we don't have a spoon. Well, you can save that then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me try that. You want to try the mix? Yeah, let's go for the eggs. So, as you guys know, this is a European um, Mexican infused restaurant. Mm -hmm. And so, that's what you're going to see when you see the, my, the menu items. You have this green sauce in here with these eggs. Definitely got for that. Yeah. And then we're going to get some of that in here. Right. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is a great brunch place. It's weird because like it gives real comfortable vibes. Like mm -hmm. I don't have to dress up to come here, mm -hmm. but their menu is given. Mm -hmm. I would definitely come have a brunch date with my girls here mm -hmm. because the menu is just that good. Mm -hmm. And the food is made very well. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'm 100 Instagram worthy, mm -hmm. and and it's not just awkward. I've seen when they're bringing out plates for everybody, yeah. everything looks very picture worthy. Yeah. <laughs> And for our day and age, picture worthy is key. It needs to look good and taste good. good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look it up. That's my head. You try that out. You guys, this little item right here, I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It looks like an omelet. Yeah, it looks like an omelet. Made in a skillet. Mm -hmm. But. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, okay. sauce here. <laughs> it looks like a quiche. Mm -hmm. That's what it's given, like a spinach quiche. It has mm -hmm. spinach in it. It has sour cream on top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, it's so very warm. That is so plush. I'm looking at all this. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. 
you know, they gave us the whole kitchen. Yeah. Wow. So that's a spinach quiche. That was amazing. That was good. Oh, snap. You dropping stuff? You want to try these little tacos? Yeah, you will ask me that for this. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's There's like try. so much, guys. I want to try every day. Pretty good. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try one of these. Oh. I'm really excited for the sandwich. The sandwich is huge. You ready? Get that. Let me get some of the salsa too. Well, you ready? I'm ready. This is what I want when I watch the football Sundays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is actually one of their most popular items on the menu, mm -hmm. these sandwiches. And I can see why. They are packed. I talking about right. With so much flavor. Mm -hmm. And it stays together pretty well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So. One more bite. I'm so sorry. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's so fresh. Down to the bread that they use to make the sandwiches are made in house. Mm -hmm. It is a bakery. Yeah. yeah. So apparently, Dad is the one that um, makes more of the savory foods that we see on the menu. Mm -hmm. That's his passion. And your mom, mm -hmm. she does all the cakes and the bakery stuff and um, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And they make, um, what is it, like custom cakes. Mm -hmm. So um, the son was telling me that literally, like, if you want, like, I don't know, some sort of random, like, glass cake, they will definitely make that happen for you. So how awesome is that? Okay. Speaking of sweets, should we try something sweet? We feel sweet. Right. I feel sweet. We're gonna switch it up and we're gonna do these strawberry crepes. It has chocolate and whipped cream. Okay. You wanna cut me off a piece too? Yeah. Mm. You want me to cut the side yeah. or cut the side? So I'm gonna turn it so you can have some. Oh, the second one? Okay. Mm. I've been having a sweet spray too, I feel. Mm. That chocolate, that strawberry really set it off. You know, cut the yeah. off. See, this one, I feel like I can eat this whole thing right now. I ain't gonna cap to y'all. Mm -hmm. And I wanna scrape up that chocolate on the side. Yeah. You guys, the reason why I'm emphasizing everything is made in house because I want you to understand that when you taste the food, that's exactly what's going to come through. Like, this is supposed to be sweet, but it's not that sweet that, like, it has chocolate and it has whipped cream and it has everything, but because it's all house made, it doesn't taste like overpowering. Mm -hmm. It's really soft, really subtle. Yeah. That's really good, isn't it? That is so good. That is like melting in your mouth. Wow. I'm officially a crepe fan. <laughs> I know, I think I was telling you once, like, I want to go have some crepes. He was like, I'm a pink pink kind of guy. Yeah. No, French toast. Oh, yeah, French toast. Mm -hmm. He was like, I don't like crepes. Let's try the French toast, actually, speaking of it. Okay. Do they got syrup right there or no? No. Um, okay. Oh, let's just try this French toast. It looks sweet. There's like cheese. Come on, cut this side too. Yeah. I don't got no knife on your way. <laughs> your knife is right there. <laughs> ah, let me get some bamboo berries. Mm. How is that? I'm gonna show you guys how that looks. I can I, I wanna I really wanna taste this with syrup but I know this will go crazy. But you know when something is really good when you can have it without syrup, mm -hmm. that's when I know French toast is really good. If I could eat a French toast without syrup, it's a lot. 
Mm. Yeah. It's like crystallized cinnamon on it. Mm -hmm. mm. Cinnamon, the sweetness, the blueberry. Alright. Is this a super yummy? We're gonna pause it, switch positions, and try some other food for you guys. Because, like I said, we got a whole yeah. table full of food. Yeah. We'll see you guys in a minute. All right, you guys, we are back. We shift, we some, shift some food around. around. Like I told y'all, and, and it looks like there's nothing like this whole thing's been, it's still full, because it is. Yeah. So we got a lot more to try. I want to go for the soup. The soups? Yeah. Okay, you want something warm? Yeah. So we have three different types of soup here, guys. We're going to try the first one. That is so good. Wow. Yeah. That's like a, a salsa soup. Yeah. You know? Wow. I'm going to try the second one, which looks like a tomato. Oh, and that salsa soup is that, that's a kick. Mm. I like that. So tomato good. tasting. So good. Mm. This is like good. Mm -hmm. That is their Jewish soup. Their what? Um, a Jewish soup. Jewish soup, okay. Yeah, so they also have Jewish heritage and it also translates in the food as well. That is so good. Which one would be your favorite? My favorite would be that one. I think the, the salsa main soup is. Um, that one is so good. It has like potato and cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely different. That's okay, amazing. let's try this taco. You want to do taco? How cute are these little tacos, babe? Yeah. Cheers it. Is that salsa for the taco? Yeah. Let me get some of that lime too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Thank you. Mm. So what is that like a chicken tender? Um, so that was okay. good. Mm. Mm -hmm. You like that? Mm hmm I know you're not a fan of like the, um, the soft towel, mm -hmm. but that's so good. Yeah, it's really good though. All right. You want to try this? Mm -hmm. What's on the inside? You can we just find out. They're fried. I love that cheese that they use on here. Yeah. That's like my favorite cheese. <laughs> that queso fresco cheese. I love that kind of cheese on tacos. Mm -hmm. So should we just like dip it in? Mm -hmm. It has the sauce, guys. I'm gonna actually take some of uh, mm. Okay. Mm. This is a good bite, guys. I bet it was good. That was still to the top. I like it. Honestly, I feel like. I can eat this with that soup too. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. That green salsa is actually spicy. It is? <laughs> <laughs> but when she said back, my thought it was like, oh my god. Wow, that's so good though. I feel like the soup is more spicier. Spicier? Mm hmm. Right. It's just that um that like green salsa flavor. Yeah. We might as well just get this one out the way. Didn't we try? Oh we did? Mm -hmm. Okay. These I think are what they call huevos de ranchero, <clears throat> which is pretty much like tortilla. It has um their like salsa mm -hmm. and then just a fried egg on top. Mm -hmm. They use a lot of salsa for the dishes. Yeah, so that's that Mexican um, infused. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that egg so first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a breakfast mm -hmm. brunch kind of meal. 
I'm not going to throw them. I want you guys to see this. You guys see that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think of mm. when we go to I think of like, like breakfast. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you call it? Nachos. Yeah. <laughs> like Mexican breakfast nachos. Mm. Is what? I actually never had breakfast in Chicago. First time trying that. Yeah, it's good. It has a lot of flavor. It's definitely something of I flavor. can do, do for brunch. Yeah. You know? Since we're on the Hispanic tip, uh -huh. we might as well go for the... What is that? I don't even know what it is. Let me see. Here, we're gonna and it looks like an enchilada, to be honest with you. I think that might be what it is. I just don't want to say it. <laughs> don't want to say that? <laughs> is that mine? Oh, that's it. I'm going to just cut us to pieces. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Let's go for it. Everything is so saucy. Mm. It's definitely a different flavor. Wow. It's saucy. Yeah, that's a breakfast. Are you so? Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> oh, mm. That is a different flavor. That is so mm -hmm. different. I was expecting that to be like salsa, but it's like mm -hmm. a tomato. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. So when he said like this is an international cafe, he was a lie. Yeah. Like you're getting all sorts of different cultures from like every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know this is gonna be another Ellie soul favorite. <laughs> You want to brush this open? Let's start with the salad. Let's see what's this one. Ooh. What's that? That's an empanada? Yeah. Looks like a chicken pot pie empanada. Mmm. Oh, guys. Let's get this in. Uh, I'm going to go in for the salad first. That's just like if you had that pumpkin place. Mm. Okay, the ingredients are so fried with artichoke in that. Wow. I'm going to that fruit. Uh, you said this empanada was oh. like the one we had at the other place? No. Mm -hmm. oh. It's more like a cake. It's like thicker. Mm -hmm. Empanada. <laughs> Very dewy. A lot of filling though. This is so much food. <laughs> and this is all so good. Yeah. Try yeah, let's go ahead and try that soup. Okay. We're still moving things out of the way. I wish you guys could see it. You guys probably already saw it. So this just looks like a hearty soup. Oh this looks like this, this must be like a chicken soup. What is this? It has so many vegetables in it. Mm. I like that. And I love the broccoli in it. Oh, Cauliflower. Wow. Oh my goodness. The broth. Everything marries so well together. It's like you're getting a lot of different flavors here. I can tell this is a warm up your body. Mm -hmm. I love the fresh tomatoes in there too. Mm. It's like that rainy day. Kind of it's not your ordinary chicken noodle soup. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I think it still has like a Mexican. Well, they have flavor. cut up tomatoes in here, mm -hmm. which is, you don't see in chicken noodle soup. Avocado. Mutan strands or whatever, chip strands. Little, um, like corn chips. That was good. I like that. That was amazing. I'm trying to see, is there any more food before we get to desserts? I think that's a toast. I think that's a sweet toast too as well. This what one, is this? No, I think it's a savory thing, babe. Okay, I'll try it out. So. How you eat oh, this. yeah, it is a savory because that's black beans. Yeah, so here yeah, I'm gonna give you a piece. Okay. It has the black beans, and all you kind of do is just scoop some up. Yeah. Mm. 
good. That's actually pretty good. That is so good. I love homemade bread. This place just gets homemade feels. Like I feel like a lot of this is made in my kitchen. And honestly, with it being because you're big bread, I'm yeah. so hot. Yeah. I always love I've never seen somebody love bread so much. <laughs> just to be eating bread, just to be eating it. Mm -hmm. So this is like premium Happy bread. <laughs> like I'm gonna come here just to mm -hmm. buy the bread. That's what's up. Try that? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> This looks good. Where is it? Is that the last one? Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's go ahead. This looks this good. This is their fruit parfait. Mm -hmm. So there's fruits and nuts. I think yogurt. Is that kind of sheep? That's good. It's like a granola bar. Mm. Fresh fruits. That's that's homemade yogurt. Mm. Babe. Mm. And their granola is mm. made in house. That granola is really good. Mm -hmm. That granola tastes like I don't know. I'm getting like an apple, caramelized apple. Yeah. Flavor. You know what I'm talking yeah. about with the peanuts. Mm -hmm. It's different when they make things in the house. I mm. can't explain it. I can't it's explain like it. like even the granola mm. tastes like something that was baked back there. Like, you know what's going to make me dance? I love that granola though. That yeah. granola is a winner when I'm It tastes like a cookie. That's a winner granola. You know you have the place where like even the small details are like blowing mm -hmm. your mind. Alright, let's go for this cake. This was, I remember this, a flour free cake. Yeah, so it's a chocolate cake, but it's flour free. Mm. So I don't know about that because y'all know I like my bread. Which means I like my flour. <laughs> but this is so chocolate. -y. Yeah. Oh wow. That. This is like chocolate chunk, crunchy munch, Cheerios, cocoa puffs. <laughs> So without with it not being flowery, this it's is like, like a fudge. Yeah. Like a like you you're thinking about get something big or something to chew on, and right when it goes in your mouth, it just compresses. It just like goes away. Mm -hmm. It like melts away. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. It tastes like a brownie, I wanna say. This is like, a chocolate this is a chocolate with a grain. Yeah. Mm. That is chocolate through and through. A big glass of cold milk. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is very chocolate. So this is that chocolate. But you can't even talk because it's like it's keeping your mouth together. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to do the crème brûlée. Crème brûlée. Now, this is what you're a fan of. Yeah. Mm. So, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. You see that? See? What? You that don't like that top? Yeah, you see that crispy well, top? Yeah. I love that. Let me get some of that fruit. Don't be taking up all the fruit now. Yeah, you want this one? Nah, I'm good. Mmm. Crispy mm. top finish. Creamy center. And then the fresh fruit on top. Mm hmm. Yeah, I love pumpkin because it's simple. It's like a custard, mm -hmm. a vanilla custard. Like you can't go wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Most of people do go wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, we still have cake. What well, you want to do a cookie? Cake. I want to do the cake. Well, let's bring that cake up. Let's take a cookie. Y'all know how a cookie tastes. Mm -hmm. Ready? Take one. I gotta get some of that, some of that frosted. I'm gonna get too much frosted. Yeah. I think a little bit of the frosted. This is the caramel cake. This is? Yeah. 
Yeah. I would have been hacked there. <laughs> Why? I would have been hacked there. <laughs> it looked like it wasn't recording for us. I, and we're just sticking that movement while we're not recording. We're still on film, you guys. <laughs> we're still good. Oh, I'm, lost. <laughs> I'm lost in these flavors. I'm just like. <laughs> but no, this is really good, guys. Yeah. This is really good. This reminds me of like Dusa Delicia. I wonder if it was a Dusa Delicia cake. You said what? I said, is this piece of the original caramel? No, um, but I love that. Babe, you have to save the space for the other one. Oh, okay, my bad. I love that frosting. Yeah. Because it's not too sweet. It's not. I'm telling you, like it's a like a, mm, mm, but it's not too sweet at all. And I love yeah, it. like when you master dessert, that when you eat it, it doesn't give you like that. Like oh my god, it's too sweet. I, like you're putting it in a cavity. Yeah. In a second. I love that. Mm -hmm. I live for it. What is the next thing you want? Oh, this one. We have one more cake to try. Yeah, so they have a beautiful bakery and they have a lot of amazing cakes, you guys. I'm really shocked at how much they have on this menu. Yeah, at <laughs> first I really thought it was like a small cafe. Like, what could they have? Yeah. Maybe a sandwich or two. You know, you know, when you think of cafe, you think of a limited item, menu item. Yeah, something small. Their, men their, their menu is front to back. Then they have a whole bunch of binders with with different cakes they have and specials. Mm -hmm. They have this like menu that's called disaster specials, which I think their grandfather comes up with like um the that menu item based on like disasters. So for mm -hmm. example, like ways after disasters pass, like Katrina. I was like, item, <laughs> yeah, like a COVID oh, item. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. Well, we just so, like, now, now it's time to eat you. We, yeah. We're we coming for you now. <laughs> so to kind of make light of the situation, no. like one of them is named after a hurricane and it's like a disaster looking plate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a hurricane on the plate. So I can't wait to try those. All right. This looks like a what? Strawberry? No, not strawberry. It looks like raspberry. Mm -hmm. I love their frosting. It actually tastes like a a cheesecake cream. Mm -hmm. That cream. I know it's not it's that one. Yeah. It's a frosting. It's like a cheesecake. It's a cheese cream frosting. Frosting, yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love their frosting. Yeah. Like this is what I'll put on top of a cupcake. Yeah. Yep. See cupcake frosting is that frosting that's too sweet. I don't like cupcake. Yeah. I mean, I can eat it. It's just too, too sweet. My sister makes um, a cupcake with this frosting on it, mm -hmm. and it's actually my favorite. So mm -hmm. he's not lying. Okay. Wow, you guys! I think we did it. I think we made it through yeah. all the items on the menu, like a box. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. I'm not sure what so like, is going on. <laughs> we have breakfast. We have cakes. Soup. We have soups. Salad. We have salad. <laughs> Sandwiches. We had nachos. <laughs> we had dessert. We had it all. I don't know. I I feel like a place that maybe curves all your cravings might uh -huh. be this place. Mm -hmm. And if you're, um, I think if you're, he was mentioning that like a lot of people visiting Houston actually comes here. Um, so if you're European, this might be your spot uh -huh. because it tastes like home. If that makes sense. To me, to be honest, it's just to me, it's giving like a Hispanic spin on breakfast. Mm, you know, that is a good, yeah. And um, I'm loving it. Yeah, it's an international space, so mm. I think it has something for everybody. Yeah. Because if you're not into savory, you're definitely gonna be into the sweets. Mm -hmm. Um, because they knock it out the park when it comes to the sweets. The staff was extremely nice. Everybody was smiling. Even the cooks in the back were. We're smiling and yep. uh, very nice Service as well. Amazing. Mm -hmm. um, this place gets jumping in the morning, so oh, yeah. <laughs> definitely keep that in mind. <laughs> very busy area. Yeah, definitely gets jumping. A lot yeah. of people. It's probably even hard to find parking. That's how popular mm -hmm. this place is. Yeah. So I highly recommend you guys come check this spot out. Can you say the name of it again? Because I don't want to butcher it. Rustica. Rustica. Cafe. <laughs> Make sure you guys go check them out. Their uh, address is right here. If you're in the Houston area, please pull up and let them know your boys at the Chuck Chuck sent you. Uh, and, um, also, go in that comment section down. I mean, not go in our comment section. Go in their comment section mm -hmm. on one of their social media sites, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, anything. 
and spam them up. Tell them that ZCC family and Ellie Soul sent you. Yes. Let them know that we're rocking with them because I really appreciate the hospitality. This is a, one of the biggest spreads we ever got. Yeah. And if you come out here, let us know, obviously, that you are here. And let us know what on the menu you guys ate and what you love. Mm -hmm. And I would like to let us know uh, what was your favorite item. Yeah. I mean, there's so many here. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to let you guys know what my favorite item on the menu is. Usually, this is something after we get done tasting, we like to dive in more. They gave us so much food, food that I'm full. You guys, I'm the fuller than a tip of a dog. Here's the thing that I love about a family owned business as well. Mm -hmm. The hospitality, they really make you feel like you're like at home when yeah. you come here. Mm -hmm. So amazing, amazing, amazing. Once again, you guys, show them some love. Let them know that we are rocking with you guys. And uh, let them know that we are rocking with them and show them how strong the ZCC family is because I always brag about you guys. But we're going to wrap this up and go to the house and we'll tell Give you guys, guys our final review. Yes. <laughs> Rustica Cafe and Bakery, Ellie. Wow, you guys, they put out the entire spread and they held back nothing. Nothing at all. Like, it was the last feast. Yeah. They had so much fun. They legit cooked the whole kitchen. I mean, this is a space that has so many options. Mm -hmm. And it really was an international restaurant, you guys. They had something from everywhere. I tasted flavors I've never tasted before. Yeah. Hospitality was great. Food was amazing and their place was packed yeah. before we even started filming. It's like a go-to place, especially for breakfast for morning because of their bakeries. Oh. But let that not be mistaken, their breakfast and their menu is off the chain. Yes. And the quality of the food. And if you're hosting any birthdays or any events, hit them up. They are cake experts mm -hmm. building from wedding cakes yep. to birthday cakes. Yeah. Gender refill cakes to Hey, let's get lit case. <laughs> they have it all, you guys. Facts. Honestly, I really want you guys to show them support. Let them know ZCC sent you. Their address is popping up right here, and we're going to tag their address in the description box down below. Yeah, and you guys already know how we do. Show them some love. If you're not in Houston, oh. then please go to their social media and tell them that Ellie and Zaddy sent you. Spam their pictures up. Let them know that we sent uh, sent you guys. Let them know how show them the ZCC ZCC family is because this place needs to be seen by everybody. And if you go take a picture because your food is picture worthy and tag us in it. Yes, but Ellie, where can they find you at? You guys can find me on all my social media platforms at underscore Ellie Soul. And you can find me on my YouTube channel, Ellie Soul. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is Eddie Chuck Chuck, that is E A D D Y. C H U N K, C H U N K. But Ellie, I'm not gonna lie, they gave us everything we could think of. Yeah, I'm stuck. All this dancing. <laughs> I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm about to chop chop my way onto the bed. I'm behind you. Let's go, honey. Jigga, jigga, chop, ah. Jigga, jigga, chop, chop. Jigga, jigga, chop, chop. Jigga, jigga, chop, chop. Jigga, jigga, chop, chop. Oh, come on, come on, come on.